If you were to search for 39-year-old Chantel Williams online, she comes off as a bright and social woman with a love for hair care. The court documents from Multnomah County portray her as a thief. The social media account postings have statements, admissions, confessions, if you will, by the defendant about, look what I, I stole this money and look what I've done with it or videos of it. Um, that's evidence. Arraigned Thursday with a $100,000 bail, Williams faces several charges. Aggravated theft, identity theft, computer crime, money laundering, and conspiracy. Most of the charges that um, the defendant is facing are Class B felonies in Oregon. Uh, and so that means that the maximum sentence is 10 years. Um, although in some instances, the judge could sentence consecutively. Her alleged scheme started back in April 2022 when she acted as an employee of the nonprofit Central City Concern. Prosecutors say she used the false identity to dupe the Housing Bureau of Portland into wiring $1.4 million to an LLC she owned in Florida. The funds were meant to build low-income housing. Harming those who have the least in our society and it's allegedly being used for personal gain. So I think that would be considered an aggravating factor. Once in that account, prosecutors say she transferred funds to her cash app, withdrew 25000 to gift her mother a car, and also wired most of the money to an account in Mexico. The city caught up with her when police realized there was a cybersecurity breach in the city's network. We've strengthened our financial controls. We've implemented additional cybersecurity measures to prevent future unauthorized access. This case is the largest theft of public funds in Portland history. We reached out to Century, Central City Concern, who said they have no comment on the case. As for Williams, she will return to the courtroom next month. Back to you, David.